Mariana Tyson is no stranger to employment and its financial drivers. Having served first as a top advisor to the Belgian Flemish Employers Organization and then more than 20 years as an MEP, many of those as the Economic Committee expert on EU bank supervision. In her designated new role as Commissioner for Employment, Social Affairs, Skills and Labor Mobility, Tyson said she would vigorously promote Commission President-elect Juncker's jobs and social equality agenda. This includes calls for greater labor market reforms and better coordination of economic and labor policies across the 28 EU member states. Tyson's ultimate aim? To cut unacceptably high levels of unemployment, 26 million people right across the EU, many of those under the age of 25. Addressing committee members, Tyson said she had workers' interests, young and old, healthy and disabled, at heart. Therefore, my goals for the next five years are crystal clear. Fighting for more jobs and for a better social protection, fighting against poverty and social exclusion. Those are the priorities of many Europeans, and I'm deeply convinced that those are also yours. Tyson underscored the need for greater fairness as part of Europe 2020 goals to sharply cut poverty and social exclusion where an estimated 125 million citizens, 25 percent of the EU population, are at risk. She is also expected to play a key role in steering the Juncker Commission's 300 billion euro jobs, growth and investment package to be unveiled within the next six months. Tyson also emphasized that efforts to ensure fairness and social equality would be redoubled. Employment and social policies need to be much more present in the European semester. I here will work closely together with Vice President Dombrovskis and with colleague Moscovici to ensure that decisions made take better into account the social effect of structural reforms. Deepening the ongoing reforms in our member states is necessary, but this requires more attention to fairness and social sustainability of reforms. Tyson will also be given the politically sensitive task of improving legal migration prospects to help fight skills shortages and facilitating the free movement both geographically as well as in terms of qualifications of the EU workforce. I will also consider and develop new initiatives where appropriate, for instance, in area connected with mobility of workers. We have a common objective, people, their health, their work, their well-being. For people, that is what Europe is about. You can count on me. I will be your ally to deliver this objective.